and I and I'll say this. This is like a story that that that's never that's never been told, right, in connection with the Donald Trump thing. When I took over the McCain campaign, I was put in charge of everything except the VP vetting. And so the idea was that we'd pick Lieberman. McCain picked a great Democrat, and we're going to solve this country's biggest problems. But it was dependent on secrecy, and Lindsey Graham went out and leaked it. And so that was off, right? And so I say we should take a look at Palin. And I said I don't know anything about her, other than she has the highest approval level of any governor. The biggest fucking mistake of my entire life. And that I will regret till the day I die is what happened the next morning. Sarah Palin comes rolling down into McCain's compound in Sedona, Arizona. And McCain goes to me and Mark Salter. He goes, "Come on, boys." He goes, "Let's go. Let's go talk to her." I go, "It's totally inappropriate for us to be in the meeting." After the met for two hours, we went for a walk by the river, and I go, "Listen, is she ready?" He goes, she'll be ready. And Cindy McCain said it's a gamble. And he said, well, you shouldn't have said that to me, Cindy, because you know how much I like craps. I never told a story. John McCain pretended to fucking roll dice in his hand, and he blew out his hand. He went, and he threw the dice. He said, fuck it, let's do it. Thank you. Three days after we got to the convention, I had my first like discussion of any substance with her. Ten minutes later, I was showing her on a map. You know, this is Iraq. <laughs> this is Afghanistan. Jesus Christ! People in the caves here attacked us. We attacked this country. Saddam Hussein is here. Osama bin Laden is here. And later that day. I had a tower that no, it wasn't the Queen of England. It was the British Prime Minister that the president dealt with. So that was like when I knew. Don't you think we made the right choice for the next vice president of the United States?